Violent street protests in Egypt continued for a third day on Thursday as protesters attempt to challenge Hosni Mubarak's 30-year reign in mass demonstrations. In scenes that echo the revolt in Tunisia earlier this month, mass public uprising is being met by brutal and in some cases lethal police intervention. Police have also attacked and arrested several Western journalists, including reporters working for The Guardian and the Associated Press. Both Europe and the US have so far been reluctant to condemn Egypt's crackdown on the protests. But the European Commission on Wednesday did call on Egypt to heed demands for political change. We call on Egyptian authorities to respect and to protect the right of Egyptian citizens to manifest their political aspirations uh, by means of peaceful demonstrations and to, to take note of their legitimate wish for political action to deal with the problems that are affecting their daily lives. President Mubarak's entrenched government has long been an ally of the EU and the US, especially in relation to the Middle East peace process. Reciprocally, the European Commission have provided close to 600 million euro worth of development assistance between 2007 and 2010. President Mubarak, now under severe pressure, came to power in 1981 when the peace-loving president Anwar Sadat was assassinated by soldiers opposing plans to sign a peace deal with Israel.